Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Big Lake Managed Tables, and these tables are currently in preview. So there's a demo, but I want to spend about a minute talking about the different types of tables in BigQuery. So this is an, an exhaustive list, it's a list of some of the top things people ask about. What's the difference between BigQuery tables and Big Lake tables? So here you can see we have native BigQuery tables, these are the normal tables users create by default. And we have external tables, which are sort of the previous version of external tables. We now have big lake tables, which are, I would say, better than the external tables since they support more features like row level security, and they are um, constantly being updated. There's big lake iceberg uh, tables via the big lake metastore and big lake managed tables. So let's go through these. Uh, the storage format is capacitors. So this is our native table. External tables, um, you can do CSV, Orc, Parquet, JSON, so there's a list of them. And then Big Lake is pretty much the same set, but it does include Iceberg. And then Big Lake Iceberg tables via the Big Lake Metastore. So this is when you create a table with like Spark, and Spark registers that table with BigQuery through a jar file that we provide, and they're stored in Iceberg format. And this is what we'll be talking about today, the Big Lake Managed Tables. And these are iceberg format, but this is fully managed by BigQuery. So storage location, this is an internal uh, storage location customers don't have access to. And the rest of these are stored on a GCS bucket. Read write abilities, you can do a full CRUD on a native table. External tables are read only. A big lake table, it's read only from BigQuery. You can update it via Spark or just like an external table, you could add more data. Think of it as like a hive mounted table, but um, BigQuery would need manual metadata updates. So with this, for like an iceberg file, you would um, have to point to a specific uh, version of the JSON of the metadata for the iceberg format. But if you're doing um, like Parquet and CSV, as you add files in there, it will pick them up. So iceberg's a little more specific. And then the uh, big like iceberg tables, these are read-only from BigQuery. You do updates in Spark, but BigQuery will pick up the latest uh, version of those files. So more files will be added and BigQuery will automatically show you the latest data. Whereas over here, you'd have to go update the uh, pointer to the latest data. And if you're using Big Lake Managed Tables, full card support. And then row level security. So uh, yes, uh, you can do row level security. External tables, no. And the rest of these are also yes. Fully managed, so uh, native tables are fully managed. You don't have to worry about compacting, garbage collecting, reclustering these. The rest of these are, are no's, but then over here are big like managed tables. It's a yes, so we fully manage your iceberg formatted tables uh, inside your storage account. Partitioning, so supports partitioning and clustering. The rest of these are like hive style partitioning, and this one does support clustering. Uh, streaming, so can we stream directly from like, uh, we'll show this in the demo, uh, from BigQuery subscription. You can do that with native tables. These know you could use Spark streaming or something to put the data in there, but then uh, Big Lake managed tables, we'll see how you can stream directly in there. And then time travel, uh, you support time travel. No, this is manual if you're updating this metadata. Uh, no, and then yes, and these might change. So uh, be on the lookout for the changes. So uh, those are some of the features, let's jump into the demo. So if you go to the taxi data set, we have a routine here called Big Lake Manage Tables, and we'll open that up. And let's edit the store procedure. I'm gonna push this over a little bit. So the first thing this does um, has some uh, information at the top there, why you would use this. And it's typically when customers wanna have full control of their uh, files. They don't wanna use the internal capacitor format. So um, this is when uh, the customer wants to see those files interact with those files with Spark and other use cases. So you can see we have a Big Lake Managed Table uh, data set created, location US. Next thing we're gonna do is just create a table. So this is just a normal create table statement. You don't have to do this via Spark or connect via the jar file for our meta, uh, meta store solution. So you can see we have a new table here and then we can load data into this table. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the load command. So this will just load some data into the table and then we can query the table. So it acts just like a regular table, and then you can query it. So you can click on it in the user interface here. Uh, you can see details. Some of this is in preview, so it's not uh, all working, but these, some of these will uh, you know, might fail under the, the preview. So uh, until the preview is over, those features will be working. So you can see the table, but let's take a look at the storage bucket. 
So we have a bucket called manage MT manage table here. Inside there, we have a big lake manage tables. We have a folder for our name and we have a data. So you can see the data files. Currently, you can't see the metadata files. Um, we're working on exporting them. There's some talk back and forth, but um, talk to us about how we can uh, you know, support those. So customers do want sometimes like a export command to export the metadata files and to synchronize that. So that right now you currently will just see the data files. So let's go back to the uh, demo. So uh, we can do a select into, so this is a create table. We have clustering, we have our connection here, and we have our file format. If you look at the options here, we're saying, you know, it's in Parquet format. That's the format we support. It's, uh, that's the file format. We have, uh, because Iceberg supports three formats, uh, Avro, I think, uh, Work in uh, Parquet, we support Parquet, and then we're saying it's in Iceberg format. So it creates a new table, and then we can actually just use a insert into command. So these commands aren't uh, super impressive, they're just normal BigQuery commands. Um, you just use them just like regular uh, SQL. So we go ahead and run that, and we should see the data inside there. So this is something you can't do with uh, other external tables, and this is uh, streaming directly into a table. So we're going to create a table. Uh, same command as before, creating a table, but then we're going to go ahead and grant a service account access to this and use a PubSub subscription. So let's create a subscription here. We're going to call this demo and the PubSub topic. If you come back here, you'll see we have the topic manually created here. So I'll go here, click to enter topic manually, paste that in. And we're going to write directly to BigQuery. We can pick our data set, Big Lake Manage Tables, and then come back here and grab the table name. Uh, we also are going to uh, check off uh, write metadata. So if we hit write met metadata, this will show us uh, our metadata. And we need to grant this account access to this table. So let's come back over here. We have our streaming table. And we click share, add principal, paste that in there, enter. Select a role, we'll do BigQuery data owner and hit save. You'll see that it says no change down here. I um, previously ran this demo, so I didn't have any changes to my security. So we should go back to the subscription and we'll have um, everything looks like it's good and we're ready to click create. So I'll give it a second and it successfully added the subscription. So now if we go back to BigQuery and we jump into the demo we should be able to look at the count star or see the actual number of items here. Let's see, it has 22,000 items and we can see the items that are being streamed in here. So, and you'll see that we have the data attributes, the um, publish time, the message ID. So these, uh, the uh, managed tables support the uh, streaming directly into them. Next one is the large iceberg table. So just um, lots of fields here. And then we're going to insert uh, about 182 million rows of data. So these, you know, ingest data quite quickly, just like BigQuery does for all of its tables. So this will insert the data and pull it in, and we will have a uh, hundred plus million rows in uh, a few seconds here. So they uh, act just like normal tables, support high volume and everything else. So if we click Run here, it added 182 million rows, and then we can select data from that. So inserts and updates and deletes. So most of the time external tables are read only. So let's go ahead and do some inserts, updates and deletes. So we're gonna create a payment type table here and you've seen inserts. So let's just insert some base data. So go ahead and create that table and then we'll select it. And we should see a couple rows down here. So we see uh, six rows. I'm gonna do an insert. I'm gonna name this insert mis mistake. So number 99. So we're gonna insert that data and let's go ahead and see it. So just a regular insert works. And then we can actually do an update statement. So this update statement will uh, update that data. Let's see, it should say uh, correction now. So we have our correction and then um, we're going to delete it. So we can delete that one here and go ahead and select that. So just like normal internal tables of BigQuery, insert, update, deletes. And we can do alter schema. So one last piece here. We're going to add a column called is credit or is credit card. And we'll do an update statement and take a look at that. 
So the column should be added and now updated. So you have a you know, credit card if uh, number one says credit card. And then we can also drop this, drop the uh, column. So we'll drop the column here and we're right back to where we started with the table. So you can see the table show up over here in BigQuery. You can click on them, see the various pieces, uh, the streaming tables coming in. So there's, you know, available. Some of the UI will be uh, updated as um, it gets out of preview. And then also if you go to your storage system, if we go back to our storage account here, click here, you will see uh, a directory for each of the tables. So that's everything in the demo. Stay tuned for new features and thank you for watching.